Hi, I'm Elliot from 3 Natives, and today I'm going to go over our test of the Flash Forge Guiders 3 Plus in the 3 Natives lab. The Flash Forge Guiders 3 Plus is the latest addition to the Chinese manufacturer's wide range of both FDM and resin 3D printers, targeted to personal and professional users. This specific FDM 3D printer differs from the others by offering a large building volume combined with a closed chamber and faster, reliable printing. These additions represent Flash Forge efforts to professionalize this offering of FDM machines and enter the professional printing market. Over the last few weeks, we had the chance to lay our hands on the Flash Forge Guider 3 Plus and put it through its paces. Without any further ado, here's our review of the Guider 3 Plus by Flash Forge. So, what is the Guider 3 Plus? Let's have a glance at its specs, as always, starting with the hardware. On the outside, you can quickly tell that Flash Forge built a robust machine by using a sturdy aluminum frame and a combination of steel sheets and plastic for the rest. Regarding the footprint of the whole machine, it looks pretty huge compared to a standard desktop 3D printer. And as such, it is 635.5 by 590.5 by 1060 mm big, and boasts a total print volume of 350 by 350 by 600 mm, making up a grand total of 72.87 liters. Despite its dimensions and weight, the Guider 3 Plus can easily be moved around thanks to its integrated wheels. For its motion system, the Flash Forge Guider 3 Plus relies on the tried and true Core XY system. The X and Y axes ride on linear rails thanks to a combination of pulleys and two belts driven by two NEMA 17 stepper motors. These belts can easily be tensioned thanks to two thumb screws. As for the Z axes, it uses four ball bearings placed at each corner of the print bed, driven by two leaf screws on four steel rods. On top of this robust motion system, there was no expense spared on the other important components, as the Holland is capable of reaching temperatures as high as 320 degrees Celsius, and the printing surface is a flexible steel bale plate coated with a PEI sheet, able to heat up to 120 degrees centigrade. All this, combined with the machine's specifically heated enclosure and the steel nozzle, means that it can handle a pretty wide range of materials, all the way from PLA up to PACF. Despite this solid Holland choice and rich material selection, the Guider 3 Plus only comes with a single extruder, thus excluding the possibility of properly printing with multiple materials at once. Thanks to these high-performance components making up the Guider 3 Plus, it's able to reach print speeds up to 250 mm per second. To ensure a nice printing experience, the Guider 3 Plus features a 7 inch touchscreen, an exhaust fan equipped with a carbon activated filter, an onboard camera, and a strip of LED lights to brighten up the whole enclosed printing chamber. Now that we are done with the hardware, let's check out the software. Flash Forge offers a complete software solution, ensuring a smooth experience going from the proprietary slicer to the printer's onboard interface. Let's first take a look at this integrated interface. It offers a wide range of customizable parameters to tweak the printer and make the most out of all its functionalities. These include auto-leveling, cloud connection, camera monitoring, time-lapse recording, maintenance information with a selection of useful guides, and more. This onboard interface provides a nice experience, but it wouldn't be complete without a slicer. So, Flash Forge developed a custom proprietary slicer made for their printers. This desktop application is simply named Flash Print. It provides a decent number of features from basic placement options all the way to auto layout, as well as mesh cutting and auto repairing. On top of this slicing part, the software includes a machine control panel which allows the user to connect different printers to the same network as the computer being used to slice. Through this interface, the user can send prints while asleep and monitor jobs thanks to the integrated camera. To take this experience out of the local network, FlashMorge makes the printer compatible with both their own web interface, FlashCloud, and a third-party one called Polish 3D. While reviewing the Guidus 3 Plus, we had the chance to test a wide range of materials depicting the overall performance of the machine. This array of filaments includes PLA, ABS, PETG, PACF, and last but not least, PC. 
Whatever the material, the pre-configured profiles allowed us to print flawless parts out of the box. When pushing the printer faster, with a 250mm per second printing profile, we witness the speed of the machine, as it is able to produce highly detailed and precise parts whilst validating a tolerance level of 100 microns. All this talking is good, but have a look at these prints for yourself and witness what we were able to make straight out of the box with the pre-configured profile. Coming in at around $6,500, depending on the distributor you buy it from, the FlashForge Guider 3 Plus is a solid option for anyone looking to produce large parts up to 600 by 350 by 350 millimeters. This FDM 3D printer offers a smooth and reliable printing experience, allowing you to print continuously. As such, the Guider 3 Plus seems well suited for 3D printing services, looking for a competitive option to print high volume models on demand. After a few weeks of testing and experimenting, we rated the FlashForge Guidance 3 Plus with our usual criteria, giving it a final score of 9.5 out of 10. To see how we calculated this score, you can read our written article here. To discover other 3D printers tests we have done, click here. See you soon for our next test in the 3D Native Lab.